I just finished reading the book Ninja Selling, Subtle Skills, Big Results by Larry Kendall. And I finished it on my way out to Las Vegas for the annual conference for leading real estate companies of the world. Where Larry actually was presenting in several sessions and I got to hear him speak uh, on a couple of subjects. One of Larry's philosophies is what you focus on expands. And that's mentioned throughout the book and is a big part of being a ninja in his program. And I noticed as the coronavirus news was spreading and Las Vegas was preparing to shut down for the following week, what everyone was focusing on, and it was real interesting, uh, because as I landed in, in Atlanta on Friday, Vegas had already announced it was going to be shutting down on Monday, and everyone that I interacted with was laser focused on making the right decision at the right time. And I, I know the past two weeks have been stressful, and I doubt any of us could have prepared for the decisions that we've had to make. And as I sat down and reviewed my notes from the annual conference and the work sessions, my general observations on how businesses and people are responding to the coronavirus, one theme emerged that I wanted to share with you today. And I didn't realize what that theme was until yesterday when I took my Subaru to be serviced and I decided to wait in the lobby. Uh, normally I would get a ride. But I decided to wait, because it wasn't going to take very long. They weren't busy. And I ended up chatting with a friend of mine, Steve Hale, who is their number one salesman at Rivertown Subaru. And we had a great conversation. His wife was actually on the plane uh, to Vegas with me when I went out there. So we talked about that. But as we continued discussing you know, sales strategies and just things about life, Steve reached into his file cabinet and handed me a copy of Dr. Stephen Covey's uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And the very first habit is proactive. And I realized that's what I've been witnessing and observing these past, this past week, is people that are being proactive in responding to the coronavirus. So I thought I'd offer some tips on how we as real estate agents and professionals can be proactive in working with our clients during a time of crisis. In his book, Dr. Stephen Covey covers seven habits of highly effective people. And the first habit is, is proactive. And one of his great quotes, he has so many great quotes. One I love is, uh, he says, I'm not a product of my circumstances, I'm a product of my decisions. And a lot of us have been at home caring for children. Uh, we're being asked to socially distance ourselves by working from home. Are we being proactive or are we being reactive? How can real estate agents be proactive in this time? Be proactive with your database. Your Facebook, Instagram posts might get lost in the whirlwind of all the uh, coronavirus news, but spend time calling your clients, check in on them, just ask how they're doing. If you don't know what to say when you call them, and if you don't have any clients, you're a brand new agent, Call all the people that you know and care about. But if you don't know what to say, uh, this is also mentioned in Ninja Selling, uh, is to follow the four questions. F for family, O for occupation, R for recreation, and D for dreams. You have the freedom to choose how you're going to respond to the whirlwinds that are circling in your life right now. I recommend being proactive. Take charge. Make a decision. Try not to be so reactive. And if you want some more tips on uh, how you can be more proactive, uh, visit our link to our blog. I've got links to Ninja Selling, uh, to Dr. Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, as well as a few others. So um, this is a gift uh, to you during this downtime, and I hope you'll use it to be proactive in building your relationships with friends and clients. Thank you.